Welcome back to another devlog. This week I finished off the plants and decoration system, as well as beginning to update the UI and starting a new fish model. The clownfish and snails already have the inspectors attached to them. I started by adding this to plants, you can see it's not fully linked at this point. I added in the plant statistics into the inspector panel to show the size, age and type of the plant. As you can see I have disabled the breeding functionality altogether, but you can still toggle growth. I also added the ability to sell plants. I have removed the ability to rename plants, despite the button still being visible. The nutrition system is now fully in place, so whenever a fish eats, shortly after it will poop, which when it hits the base of the tank contributes towards both algae production and nutrition of the tank. The plants then consume that nutrition to grow. Here you can see the nutrition variable increase at the top of the screen, and shortly afterwards the plant eats it, which causes it to grow in the inspector panel. That all works well, but now it was time to add scaling to the plants. When you purchase a plant from the store, you can see how it will look when it's fully grown, but now when you place it, it will be a baby. I had planned on having separate models per growth stage, and I still might, but right now, I think the Hello Meta plant looks pretty good just being rescaled. Obviously I'll add in animations between stages, so it looks a bit less static. Next up it was time to implement the decoration system. I didn't want to model anything too complex since I wanted a test item that can still be used in the game. I modelled a very basic stone and added it in with my placement system. I put the pivot point of the stone just above the base, so that on hills or sharper angles, the stone looks as if it sank into the sand. It sounds strange, but adding one stone model into the game made the tank look so much more alive. I'm really excited to add more fish and decoration items into the game now. I wanted to add a little bit more variation to the decoration, so I modelled a second more rounded stone and added that into the game. Currently whenever you buy a stone from the shop, it randomly selects between the two shapes and allows you to place it. I think I'll add a selector function, or a key, to change the shape in the future. I felt like the UI needed a big change, as it's just been a very rough design for so long now. I took a colour palette and began mapping out how I want the UI to look. It's not set in stone and far from finished at the moment, but I think it looks a lot more appealing. I'll try and get a near finish next devlog, so hopefully that makes the game look and feel a lot better too. The yellow buttons are the same as the old buttons, which are at the top left. So from left to right, they are shop, food, medicine, breeding pill, camera toggle, and now there's a settings button too. When you open up the shop, instead of it dropping down from the top of the screen as it currently does, it'll slide up from the bottom. The red boxes will be shop items, and the smaller red box on the far right will be an arrow to see more items. Lastly, to finish up this week, I decided on my next fish, the damselfish. I've had a lot of suggestions on fish to add to the game, and don't worry, I am taking notes, as this game so far is just showing one of many tanks I have planned. This tank is a small saltwater tank. Ideally, in the finished game you'll have access to multiple small, medium and large saltwater tanks, as well as multiple small, medium and large freshwater tanks, all containing the appropriate species of plants, critters and fish of your choice. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe, as well as leave a comment to help with the YouTube algorithm. Feel free to join the Discord to chat or share your own game projects. All links are in the description. Thank you so much for watching.